Hey everybody. So it has been so hot, but for some reason, my cucumbers and my okra are just loving it right now. Now, when it was really, really hot, they weren't doing as well. Um, but now that it's kind of cooling off, we're getting some cool evenings. The cucumbers are just growing all over the place. So, I'm just going to cut what we have for now. And we got more cucumbers inside. And more coming on the vine. And some that haven't even been pollinated yet. And every morning I come out here, the bees are all over these cucumbers, the bumblebees. So I'm just so happy about that. Look at that. And we got okra in there. It's on the other side. I don't know how I'm going to cut this, grab it, and hold the camera at the same time. I'm probably just going to have to let it fall and get it later. I don't even see where it fell. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. I'm going to come back and get it. Let's see. There's another one right there. see if I can grab it hold on one moment man yeah this is difficult at least I saw where that one fell I'll get that on the other side of the fence there's another one right there So I know I got three cucumbers so far to get up four. Here go another one right here. Look at the ants on that. The ants are trying to kill that one for before I get a chance to harvest it. Okay, so four cucumbers. I mean cucumbers, four okras uh, in there that I need to go pick up. And more to come. Got more to come all over this thing. Look, this is what's biting my flowers and he not supposed to be in there. Y'all see him? Yeah, I caught you. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Look at him. Yeah. And you see the plant, the leaf right underneath it? He biting, he eating on it. He been tearing my plants up in here grasshoppers Ugh, I used to love grasshoppers but now they're a garden enemy so the bell peppers are starting to get flowers the cooler it gets which is weird because I always was told well I always hear other people talking about how the bell, pep bell peppers the pe peppers period love the heat but um, that's been the exact opposite for me. I got another cucumber. Yay. And another one, and another one. They don't have far to fall. Ugh. And then plenty more on this side that's still growing. So far, there's four cucumbers. So, and there's another one growing. I'm going to let that go probably another day or two. But, um, there go another one. So, we got four here. And then I got to find all my okra that I let fall in here. Oh, there's that okra that I couldn't figure out where it fell. It's right there.
And I let that one fall because it was deformed and the ants were eating it up. So I'm gonna let it let it stay down there and um, harden, um, dry out like I let this one dry out. The ants were eating that one up too. So the ants and the aphids. So I let it, um, I'm gonna let it dry out and then I can get the seeds out of there. I could pop that off now and get the seeds out because you can actually see the seeds from here and they're pretty solid. They're pretty plump and ready to be used for seed next year. So I came out here yesterday and I picked all the okra that were ready and now we're out here again today. And then in a couple days, those will be ready. And maybe about a week or so, those will be ready. Same with those over there. So the okra are just, they just keep replenishing themselves. Look how strong those trunks are though. They're like a little mini tree trunk. That's why I love the okra plant because it's vigorous. Even though the ants are trying to take this plant down, it's vigorous. It just keeps putting out. So, And I have a, lo a little jungle over here. David was supposed to weed whack, but he didn't. And now I don't want to walk in here. <laughs> but um, I have a... a, a a cantaloupe in here and I'm trying to figure out if it's ready or not something was nibbling on it so I put it in this basket and I just left it so y'all saw that spider just jump but yeah so this cantaloupe is like white and I'm pretty sure it's probably ready I don't know if it's gonna be any good because something was nibbling on the other side trying to see if I can see where it oh it kind of calloused over so where it was nibbling at it kind of calloused over so I don't know what was nibbling but I have some sneaky suspicions but there's other little cantaloupe in here and they're not ready yet <clears throat> so I may go ahead and pull that one and take it in the house and see I want I could bend down and smell the stem but again there, there's a jungle in here and um I'm scared that I'm gonna bend down and then right there be a spider in my face. Um, for pests, we cage stuff to keep the pest away. And oh, here's that other okra I dropped. I cut and didn't know where it fell. There it is. But we cage stuff. Um, we'll put out sticky traps if it's not too hot or um uh if it's like bugs we use soap and water but because we don't use any harsh chemicals on anything you just kind of got to be vigilant you can't really you know expect to spray something that's organic once and then it'll and you know it do, does the trick it really doesn't because it's organic it's using like all natural probably herbs from you know like a neem oil tree and stuff like that so it's nothing that's supposed to really you know help long term you got to kind of do it all the time um but we got some stuff going to see the the um mustard greens and the turnips are the mustard greens really are the ones that's going to see because i haven't been getting out here picking them a lot and then the basil is going to see that's a, another mustard green that's trying to go to well that's going to see it's past time for me to take my sunflower seeds out of here so I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut that head off of it and get the sunflower seeds out of there but they're past time past being ready so I wonder if they're gonna be like I don't know we'll see how they are how they turn out my great plant is doing so good it is doing so good next year I am I am claiming that we are getting bunches of grapes up here Last, this year we only got one bunch and it was a little tiny bunch but it was very sweet so I'm claiming a bunch of grapes yeah Maya you can come get some more greens if you want did you cook the last bunch you got I bet you didn't and then the jungle over here. This is 
a beast. This is the watermelon bed jungle. It is just crawling all over the place. We are letting, because we cut the two watermelon and they weren't ready, we're letting the other ones just go. And hopefully they are properly ripe. We read up on it and it said that um, when you have really, really high temperatures for a really long time like that, that it can cause the watermelon to ripe improperly. So they will be done on the vine, but when you cut them open, they won't be ripe like they should be. They'll be watery, juicy, everything they're supposed to be, but they won't be ripe like they should be. And that, that's caused by the heat. We looked it up. Uh, what causes them to split is when they have too much water. But ours weren't splitting. They were just done ripening on the vine. But when we cut them open, they were already, um, they had gone as far as they could go, but they just, they were just improperly ripe. So we're hoping that the heat didn't get to the other ones because we have one, two, three, I think four. No, yeah, four. We still have like four or five watermelon in here. And we're just, I just told David, let's just let them go and see what happens. Um, this watermelon plant is still trying to put out watermelon. Look at this. It's still trying to put out watermelon. Here go another one. The sad part about it is, I don't believe we have enough. Look, there goes, there goes another one. That one's been pollinated. So the sad part about it is, I don't, I don't think we have enough days. There go another one. Enough days. That one look like it's gonna fall off. Um, we don't have enough days in the season for those watermelon to go all the way. So those are just gonna go to waste. But I'm gonna leave them be and see how far they'll go. But look at this jungle in here. Look at this jungle. We need some land. Anybody want to gift us some land? <laughs> So we can uh spread out so we look it's a watermelon in there it's in a cage i can see the cage from here and it's another one here so that's two there's another white cage in there that's three there's a black cage over there so that's four there's one sitting up there five and there i think it was two on that side so six maybe seven so we'll see what happens we will see what happens I don't know if I showed y'all these, but I cut these back once. Then David came and he cut everything underneath the fence line. And within about three days to a week, they were back up there again. The bees love them, so I'm not going to cut them all the way down. But I'm trying to keep them cut down a little bit. But they are just doing their own thing. This is the uh, old corn that... I think I messed up, <clears throat> but I just let them go ahead and dry out on here so I can get the seeds from them. And um, I only did four stalks in this bed, but this bed is mainly for my sweet potatoes and my yellow potatoes. And I think I put some red potatoes in here too. But as you can see, the watermelon is trying to take over that too. My other, this is the end of this cucumber set. I left a uh, cucumber on there, down there. It's turning all orange. I'm leaving it on so it can um, give us some seeds. You gotta let your cucumbers go really, really past due, or, you know, far past due in order to save seed from it. So that one, I'm pretty sure it's ready, but I'm gonna just let it go a few more days just to make sure we get some big, nice, um, big, nice fat seeds from it that I can dry out. If you, if you take a cucumber off when it's like edible, um, you won't be able to save seed from it. Oh, look, we're still getting cucumbers off this. I thought this was done. Well, then. Well, then. I may cut that one. Oh, look, hold on. Listen, now. You told me you checked out. What you still doing giving cucumbers? Look at this plant. It look, it's, it look all dried up and dead. It's crunchy when I crunch the leaves, but it's still giving cucumbers. It don't count me out just yet all right i'm gonna let it be i'm gonna let it be my strawberries are trying to give flowers again so i'm assuming because it's cooling off we might get somewhat of a fall harvest out of the things that didn't do well 
this summer because of the heat here's another <laughs> i mean this thing got so heavy it just collapsed in this was the rapaconte but um vine it's a form of squash and it grows to about five to six feet long so they got so heavy on here that they just bent it on in and it decided to start growing on down and into the regular ground down here so i'm just gonna let it do its own thing because look how vibrant this plant looks it was dying off look at this it was all dying off and then it just decided to start growing this way and once it reached the ground it went on ahead and rerooted itself you can see down here right there those are roots coming out of the plant so it'll reroot itself and once it can get the nutrients it needs from the soil it'll start it'll just become vigorous again so i'm gonna let it go ahead and do its thing i saw flowers bloom this morning so um we may be able to get some more rapaconte off of this uh plant and i saw a few baby rapaconte on here that hadn't opened up yet there's one that's what it looks like and from that small little replica it grows to about so on my plant it grew to about three feet three feet long but I've seen other people who, who've had them trellised up in the air because they grew to about five and six feet long. So they were all the way down towards the ground where um, they, they, the, those other people had planted. But mine so far, I've only seen, seen about three feet long on them. But it's just trellising all the way up and I'm, it's then found itself another little lattice. So I'm like, I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. Over here is more bell pepper and cucumbers. I planted a lot of cucumbers because the other ones were dying out. And I planted a lot of bell pepper because the ones that I planted weren't doing anything. So they're finally starting to do something. I, um, I saw flowers on the one on the other side. I'm still looking out for flowers on this one. But it's growing, so we'll see what happens. But I've seen little baby cucumbers already on this one down there so we're gonna have cucumbers galore and i saw flowers on my tomatoes on the other side so these plants down here <clears throat> i planted these with the hopes of being able to get a fall harvest out of them um this is zucchini and the box down there squash and then this is zinnias which is a flower and i did more um cantaloupe just to see if it'll come up before the season was over and now it's come up now if it produces that'll be great so we'll see what happens but i found a new company online and i just wanted to try out their products so i got blueberries from the company they were doing buy a blueberry bush and get a blueberry no buy one blueberry bush get two blueberry bushes free is that how it went or is it buy two get two i think it was buy two get two so i bought two and then they sent me two more so i was like oh that's cool um they mail them to you and then you got to try to get them in the ground with the summer heat out here they they were struggling once i first got them in the ground but now they've come back so th they were struggling and they died off when i first put them in the ground so this is where it looked like where how it looked when i first got them in the ground but all of this is since i've got them in the ground and i've been nurturing them so you can see how small that one is but these are all new leaves so i'm excited and this one had bit the dust so much that i called the company to let them know and they was like no big deal we'll send you another one for free <laughs> so i'm like okay i think y'all might have a customer for life out of me if this how y'all do business so they're not only sending me that one and it's coming back um so i'm gonna have another blueberry from that one but the grape plant the grapevine they sent me was biting the dust I sent them pictures to show them, you know, none of this was on there. And they was like, oh yeah, no big deal. So we'll send you another one of those for free too. 
so i was like man i love that company and i just i just found them this year so and i already like the company so i'm gonna get a, a free grape and a free, free blueberry and then the lady before she hung up with me she was like oh. and if any of the other plants we sent you aren't doing good within the next three weeks let us know we'll send you more of those for free too <laughs> I was like, uh oh, I like y'all. So then I also got a pomegranate and the pomegranate been doing okay. I've never had a pomegranate before, but I wanted to try it out and I am looking towards the future so that we can have trees on our property when we get our property, when we get our land. And I'm gonna dig all of these babies up and take them with us. Well, David probably gonna dig them up, but all right, y'all, so that's the garden update. It looked like a jungle back here. It looked a hot mess, but every day we're still getting stuff. I cut some flowers off and take them in the house for a nice little centerpiece. We got watermelon. We got green onions over there. Bell peppers coming in. I'm getting pear-shaped tomatoes every day. Um, looking forward to grapes next year. We got sunflowers over there getting ready to give seed and okra and cucumbers every day so that is the garden hopefully i'll be able to give an update in maybe a couple weeks when uh, it's cooled off and things will be looking better than this so 